So this is a single spinner custom line, 1958. We've done a full engine gearbox rebuild, mechanical rebuild, some suspension, steering, the brakes have all been rebuilt, re-chromed, all of the chrome, the mouldings haven't been touched, we haven't done any paint. Pulled all the carpet and interior out, repaired rust in the floor, a little bit of rust sort of going on and through through there. Put aircon in it. Vintage air is always a good thing, got aircon and heater and all that works really nice um, so yeah just going over the whole car making it a really nice drivable car it's all nice and tight and brand new now so yeah she's ready to go I'm just uh, checking the timing, the ignition timing on this uh, old custom line. We go over this side, we'll have to find our way right across. Yeah, look, I've, I've just checked the, the uh, ignition timing. Um, it's on six degrees. We're, I'm quite happy with that. The engine's running really fine. Um, yeah, this, this, this vehicle's just had a complete engine rebuild and uh, it's just about ready to be handed back to the owner. So this thing here is a 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Two-door pillarless, big V8. Everything was big back in 1959. The amount of metal that's in this car is insane. Um, she's a cool old cruiser. It doesn't set any land speed records, but it does drive nice. We do a bit of maintenance on it, just mechanical, motor and gearbox, the brakes. We've rebuilt the brakes, and on, we, we rebuilt the motor a few years back. It was a pretty good car when he bought it. It was fairly sound. Um, it just needed a bit of maintenance or a bit of upkeep, so... That's all we've done to this. A bit of cosmetic stuff every now and then. But we usually get it back every 12 months, give it a good polish, just go over it, make sure it's all good. They do a few weddings with this car. So you kind of want it to run nice and do everything it's got to do. Yeah, she's she's a bit of a land yacht, this thing. As by the number plates, triple XL. Maybe blue in colour. But the whole interior, everything was like it when he bought it. So it's, Pretty tidy old car. Righto, so we're just going to go and visit Brad from um, JRE Engines. He's a pretty talented young fella, this one. Got his own little dyno in the back shed. Does some really nice stuff. Does a lot of sprint boat stuff. Uh, he's dynoed a few of our engines. So hopefully he's here today because he has no idea that we're coming for a visit. And that's his ute, and that's his other ute. So, but he might not be home. So we're going to knock on the door and see if he's here. Can he drop your lunch for? Can no, no. Have yeah. We haven't had lunch yet. So, 
Are you a mechanic? Um, no, leave it there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that looks better. He's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brad's a fairly talented young bloke building engines. Does a lot of engine, I suppose, full on builds. Yep. Full yep. Builds. Full builds. And then he runs them in on his dyno, gets them all tuned, gets some horsepower out of them. And occasionally puts them in a sprint boat and goes nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Different. Well, like for us, he'll. We'll bring our engines here, Brad will put them on the dyno, he runs them in, gets them all tuned up, and then we get them back and we put them on the, in the car and bingo, we're done. So you sort of cater for all sorts, don't you? Yeah, yeah, basically do a bit of everything. Yeah. But, um, mainly, You're not all about race engines though. Race engines is my main it is. thing yeah. that, I, that I target. Yeah. But obviously, like yourself, I'm happy to do some other stuff. Yeah, but it's yeah. All, even your stuff's always been performance, yeah. performance stuff. So yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That's, it's a bit of everything, but yeah. So tell us a bit about this thing. That uh, looks pretty wild. Uh, this is a customer's engine that's just it's come back for a rebuild. Um, so where's the customer from? This guy's from Forbes. Forbes? Yeah, New South Wales. Yeah, right, eh? So he, dropped yeah. it there. he came down on the weekend and dropped it off. So, yep. So, um, yeah, it's done about 16 shows. It's out of a 360 sprint car. Um, yeah, it's just due for, so, a, due for a freshener. So what cubes? 360 cubes. 360? Yeah, Restricted? That's, yep, that's the... So you've got four tens and three sixties. Yep. So that's their restricted class. It's got to be a cast iron block, but then they've got. Uh, so can it be an LS? Can it be a small block Chev? Can it be a uh, Ford? Small block Chevs. It can be pretty much anything you want. Yeah. But they have to run the control heads. Oh, right. Oh. The control heads are either um, well, they're a twenty-three degree small block for the Chevys. Yep. There's a Mopar controlled head, and then there's a Ford controlled head. Really? Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, so the case for all of them. So is this an LS base or a small block? Small block. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Still, still old. Yeah. Old still old school. school. Yeah. Old yeah, cool. School, small block. Yeah. yeah. Obviously everything's new, but it's yeah, it's an old. And the injection? Uh, it's Kinzer injection. Yeah, right. Um, they're not. They're not restricted on the injection type, only the size of the trumpets themselves. Could you run a carby if you wanted nah, to? No, nah, you got a uh, Actually... Or is there no need for a carby? It's more of an injection type thing. Yeah, you definitely want to run injection. Yeah, I mean, yeah. A lot better off going that way. I actually don't... Is that because of the severe turning and changing or... Yeah, and even tunability. Yeah. You get better power out of that. Yeah, right. The yeah. Carby setup. Yeah. Um, but it definitely helps with the inertia and the Gs. It does, yeah. And the individual injectors yeah that's um, mad but yeah that's just what they've always done so all dry sump and everything yep all dry yeah. sump that's so, so has he just lifted this straight out of the boat yep so finished race out of the sprint car yep yep that's exactly oh right. sprint car this one this one's sprint car yeah, yeah right oh right oh yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah that, that's as they come out so there you yep. four water lines one two three, yep three four undo that from the radiator undo gearbox no, no, no gearbox, direct drive. Direct drive, yeah, yep. right. Um, undo your bell housing from the engine plate, which is uh, it's all wrapped up, same as what that thing runs. Yeah. Um, and you have two bolts at the front here on the front hoop, and just literally pull out. Done. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Not a lot to it, is there? No, nah. no, they're really. Wow. Simple. They're really simple when you. So, what sort of horsepower? That's 700. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. There's some. Um, then. They're mainly between seven and seven twenty. Yeah, where, right. Where the three sixties are now. Yeah, geez, that's bringing big power into the game, isn't it? Yeah, especially. Wow. Twenty three degree. Yeah. Restricted cylinder heads. It's, what it's fuel? A, uh, methanol. Oh, they are methanol. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's tunability. Yeah. With the injection. So, yeah. what else have you got that you can show us? Um. What other toys are you playing with there's today? No, there's nothing in there at the moment. Sort of. <laughs> oh yeah. Holy shit. So I've got to say, you get to play on some nice toys. Yeah, yeah, so this is a, um, it's like Troy Lloyd's 6 liter LS uh, going into his improved production for yep. this car. Yeah, right. Um, which would find this so is this a whole new engine for that car? Or? Brand, brand new engine. Yeah, right, everything, yeah. Everything in this thing is new. Um, Has it been ran yet? Nah, it's going on dyno this weekend. So why carbon fiber intake? Lightweight or better yeah. performance? Trumpets, you mean? Yeah, like just lightweight. And this was uh, it's a motorsport thing, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But basically, this was all. This was a one built, one 
piece trumpet which bolted on yeah obviously we wanted to be able to adjust it so oh yeah convert it to so why do you adjust them what, what's the point of adjustments it changes the torque curve basically right. so you can adjust yeah the lengths which changes where it makes its power so i've started at a point where i believe it's going to be pretty close yeah um and pretty much in you can trim it down and then because they slide in quite a ways if you go too far i can pull them back out a little bit yeah so, so do you mean torque as in maximum torque or or uh, right across the rev range uh more average torque so your area under so the curve below peak if that makes sense yeah. so, you, so, yeah. you, so typically so basically the simple way is if you want to make peak horsepower you make them short right but you'll lose all the torque yeah down yeah below. so say this thing peaks at eight thousand. You'll make a lot of horsepower up there if you go really short, but you'll lose but, everything you know, yeah. between four and a half and six. And this is where the fine line comes into it. Yeah. What, what track are they racing on and what yeah. What do they need it for? Exactly. You know, so, like, yeah. yeah. So where I've started is it should give us good peak torque, uh, good peak horsepower, but still keep the torque down, yeah. down low, that, which will yeah. help keep it out of the corner. Um, so what else are you playing on in here? Uh, What's this thing here? That thing there. <laughs> what that's is a, it? That's a 500 cubic inch small block Chevy. So it's still old. Small block Chevy? Yeah, small block Chevy, but 500 cubes. Yeah, so it looked much like a small block Chevy to me. Yeah, so it's a CN billet block, an American made thing. Really? Um, so obviously it's an older block now. It's so big. so how do they get 500 cubes out of, out of a small block? How does how's that, that work? How does it equate? So it's a really tall deck, it's a 10.2 inch deck. Yeah. And you go 4.206 in the bore. Yeah, yeah, so that's how they're doing it, yeah. yeah and so what makes it a small block shed, not a big block shed? Just the physical size of the heads? Yeah, pretty much. It's that's still, it. it's, a, it's what they call a small block shed configuration. Yeah. So it's the basic principles as far as, you know, deck cam, yeah. okay. cam location, you know, the standard sizing as far as crank and everything, are <laughs> all still small block. It's, it's like all motorsport, it's how you interpret the rules. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> they call it a small block, but it's, yeah, it's far from a small block. Isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good one, mate. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. I appreciate Thanks it. Drop it out. Yeah, that's no, all good. Uh, Jimmy Andriatis. Yeah, it's his car. So, yeah, we just did some wheel bearings on it and a bit of maintenance and, yeah, sun's out. So, over a spin. Yeah, I'll take it back tomorrow. So, yeah. <laughs>